Hey guys, welcome to another video of Fusion Studios. So as you can see here, I have my Astineon Ultra and it have got the One UI 5.0 or else the Android 13 update. So in this video, I am going to explain in detail of all the changes happened after the Android 13 update and also the additional features that have been added. The update size is about 2.15 GB. So before updating, make sure you have sufficient amount of charge that is minimum above 50% and also you should at least have about 5 or 6 GB of internal storage. So as you can see here the update is going on and before it finishes I have taken out my S Pen from my old Samsung Galaxy Note 3 so that I can show you some of the other features using the S Pen after the update. The changes in Android 13 are classified into visual changes, customization, modes and routines, home screen and widgets, multitasking, connected devices, camera and gallery, photo and video editor, AR emoji, Samsung keyboard, extract and scan text, Samsung DeX, notification, settings, security and privacy, accessibility and finally additional settings. So the first change you can see is that we have a new notification layout and the app icons are larger and the text alignment is improved to make them more clear. You can find that the app icons are larger and bolder and some of the icons like message app icons are even redesigned. After the Android 13 update, let me open some of the apps and as you can see here, we get new animations and also the transitions are even smooth than before. The background blur and the color effects on the quick panel, home screen etc have been improved and you can see it clearly on the home screen and on the quick panels. After the software update is completed, for all the Samsung users, you must go to the Galaxy store and go to the update section. So you can find that a ton of apps are ready to update. Now let's go to the widgets option by clicking and holding the home screen. So as you can see here, a new widget is formed and it is called Smart Suggestions. And this widget suggests all the apps that we are using frequently. Now to show you the next feature, I have added a lot of different widgets. Here we have the magnifier widget which helps us to magnify objects by using the back camera and the zoom option. So as you can see here, I have placed the S Pen and like this we can use the camera to zoom in or out by using it as a magnifier. And we have also other options for flashlight and on the right side we have the other option that is for increasing or decreasing the brightness and the contrast levels from here and also below we have the other options for applying filters like inverted, white and black, black and yellow, blue and white etc. Now moving back to the widgets we have a new option to group the widgets but we can only group the widgets of similar sizes. We cannot group widgets of different sizes as you can see here. When you group the widgets that are of similar size of the app icons, it will form a folder. And when you group larger widgets of similar sizes like this, you can see that it forms into a single widget. And we can change the widget by swiping left or right. Also when you hold down and click the edit button, on the right side we can see a plus icon to add more widgets. So when you click on any widget and click the add button, it will be added there. You can also click the minus icon to remove the widgets. Now let's move on to the settings option as there is a lot of changes there. First we have the connected devices option and inside that we have quick share, auto switch buds, call and text and other devices, continue apps on other devices, link to windows and the improved Samsung Dex. We also have the other features for Galaxy wearable here and also for the smart things. Next we have modes and routines and inside that we have sleep, driving, exercise, relax, work and the custom mode where we can add a custom mode and change its icon or color and add the mode according to our needs. Next we have the driving mode. So for example when you are driving your car and turns on the driving mode it can automatically play music if you have set like that. You can also set to turn on the do not disturb mode and give exceptions for calls and messages. And to give an example for the relaxing mode you can set it to automatically turn on do not disturb mode when you turn on the relaxing mode. The bedtime mode is called sleep mode and you can set it like for example when it is time for bed it will turn on the dark mode and changes the sound mode to silent or mute. When we go to the notification panel and click the edit button icon we can see a new options are formed and they are the quick access for security and privacy, high contrast font, color inversion, color filter, color adjustment 
and you can also see the protect battery option and below that in the quick panel you can also see a new shortcut for mode now click and hold the home button and go to the wallpaper section as you can see here a ton of wallpapers are added and there are featured wallpaper graphical wallpaper and color wallpaper and next we have the color palette option and here we have two options that are wallpaper color and basic color and inside the wallpaper color 16 color theme based on wallpapers are added now let's go to the dialer option and when we click on the menu we have an option to go to the settings and inside the settings we can see that there is a new option that is big speed text call and here when you enable that the calls are answered automatically and the responses you type or tap are read aloud the next feature is that we can set different call backgrounds for each contacts and as you can see here i have the kerala vision contact number and below that in the edit icon you can find a ringtone option call vibration option and also the call background option and inside the call background option click the background and select any background you need to set and it will be set for that specific contact you can also click the plus button to add any custom video from your gallery there will be an update for the my files app in the galaxy store so you can either go to the galaxy store or go to the about section in the my files option to update the app now it's time to go to the settings and click on the additional features here you can see the lab option inside that turn all the options below to get new features for the multi window the first option is multi window for all apps so let me turn it off and through the edge panel when you drag and drop the instagram icon it will say that it cannot be opened in multi window option so after that when you turn on the multi window for all apps you can see that we can turn on the multi window for the instagram in either pop up or split screen view we can quickly open apps in split screen view by dragging an app from the recent window to the side of the screen where you want to open it so as you can see here when we are in the split screen view you can see the notification panel and the notification bar on both the sides and when you turn on the full screen option in the split screen view both of them are hidden and only after swiping from the bottom or the top we can see them again now for this swipe for split screen option take your two fingers and swipe from the bottom of the screen to the center of the screen so you can make that app into a split screen next we have the swipe for pop up view option where you can swipe from any of the top corners of the phone to the middle of the screen to enable the pop up view you can also observe the gray outline to resize the pop up view according to your needs now moving back to the settings and inside the connected devices we have the smart view and inside that we have a new option called hide notifications on tv that is while we are on the smart view now we get a privacy settings to hide our notification so that our notification will not be seen on the tv screen we can also allow this option to enable all the apps to be available on the smart screen view there is a new option where the available chromecast devices appears when we tap the media output on the quick panel just tap that to play any music or audio on that device next we have the camera option and when you take any object that have writings on it there is an option called scan and when you click on that we can see the extract text option and it will highlight this text so you can select all and copy it wherever you want after the new update the zoom bar is condensed so that you can zoom in or out further with one single swipe or you can pinch in or out in one single pinch now moving on to the pro mode we can change from center weighted metering to matrix metering or spot metering we can also find a histogram in the pro modes that is used to check the brightness of each tone to help perfect the exposures now when you click on any of these controls like zoom iso speed etc we can see a help icon appearing in the pro photo mode and the pro video mode that will help us to get the tips and guidance to use the lenses controls and options etc like i have said before if you open the pro video mode you can see the similar options and also when you click on any of the option there is the i help icon that appears to get tips and guidance to use the lenses controls and options now inside the food mode we have the telephoto lens that is available to take more close up shots so as you can see here we can find the 1x 3x shortcuts and also we can go from 2x and also 10x the single take is now simplified and have few options and take short recordings to make it even faster than before
Now inside the camera settings we can find a watermark option and when we enable that it will give a watermark for our photos. As you can see here now we have Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G as the model name. We can edit that and I am typing Agarsh PJ and as you can see the name of the watermark has been changed to Agarsh PJ. We can also add date and time just below the name. We can also change the font styles from Roboto, Samsung Sharp Sans and Noto Sharif. And also we can change the alignment from left, center and right. Now let's move on to the gallery option. Inside the gallery option click on the three icons and select the select album to show option. You can even select or deselect any of these albums that you want to show or not to show inside the gallery. And also inside the menu you also have an option to hide any albums that you don't need to show. And also inside the settings you can find a new option that is select album to show. And also we have another options that is to merge the albums that have the same name. Next we have stories that are automatically created in the gallery and are revamped with slideshow view. We can also create albums that automatically update to include the pictures of the people we select. Now there is another new option that is when you have a picture with a text there is a T icon on the right bottom side and when you click on that you can even select that text and copy it or paste it anywhere or you can even share that. After the new update when you take any photo and click on the edit button inside the color and lighting adjustment option at the right end you can find a sharpness option and also when you click on the filter icon you can find that the same filters will be available for the video editing options. Now when we click on the emoji icon we can find the sticker option and inside the sticker option we have a new option called create sticker and when you click on that we can select any photo from our albums and make it into a sticker. Here we have shape option where we can cut it into different shapes like square, rectangle, triangle etc. And we also have free form where we can snap to the shape or we can select manually. We also have another option to deselect them. When you use the manual option and draw around the photo it will automatically cut to the shape that we have created. We can also deselect any part by dragging like this. Next we have the snap to shape option where we draw around the photo it will automatically adjust to the outline of our photo and give us a perfect sticker so as you can see here it have adjusted automatically and if you have any part that is not perfect just use the deselect tool to deselect that small part now after clicking the next option we can increase the thickness of the border by sliding this meter and we can also select any of the colors that we want and when you select done it will turn into the sticker and we can apply the sticker on any photos. We also have the option to flip or duplicate this sticker. After the new update, when you click the edit button on the GIF, we can even crop the GIF according to the ratio that we need. And also we can adjust the speed of the GIF and we can even add any stickers on this GIF. Not only just stickers, we can also add any text that we want or we can even draw on the GIF. Here I have a photo taken in the portrait mode. So as you can see we can change the background now. And we know that if we add any filter or crop the image we do not get the change background option again. But after the new update the portrait mode effects are not affected even after cropping or changing filters. So we can even adjust the background blur at any time. So as you can see here I am cropping the photo and even adjusting the tilt levels. And after that I am adding a filter and saving the photo. And even after saving you can see that we can change the background blur effect. And changing the background blur effect again will remove all the edits made to this image. I forgot to tell you one thing that is inside the sticker option we get new 60 preloaded emoji stickers that are available to decorate any photos or videos that you need. There is a new feature added that is similar to iPhone. That is when you draw any shapes using your finger or using any S pen like this it will not be in a perfect shape but after completing any shape if you hold it there for some time it will transform into a perfect shape that you have created. So like this we can create any shapes like circle, square, triangle, rectangle, pentagon, hexagon etc. Now let's go to the AR zone. Here when you click the AR emoji sticker we can find that there is an update option. When you click the update new emojis are added. That means more AR emoji stickers can be downloaded 
other than the 15 default created stickers. Now let's open the AR emoji camera. Inside the AR zone, after the update, we can use transparent background or any picture as background for the AR emoji camera. We can also add two pairs of emoji together to create fun for dancing or posing. Now after the new update, in the Samsung keyboard, 80 additional emojis are available for creating emoji pairs. Now when we go to the emoji pair option and click the create icon, we can see that we can add more stickers by downloading approximately 30 MB of size. And we can even combine different emojis of animal, food and other objects in additional to facial expressions. And we can even send these emojis to anyone we want through the messaging apps. After the new update, we can touch and hold the emoji button, sticker button etc. And we can rearrange them anywhere we want. We even got an option to customize the punctuation mark or any other symbols that are at the bottom row beside the spacebar. The new cow emoji function is added in the Samsung keyboard so that when you type the correct preset cow emojis, we get the same facial expressions according to the cow emoji. When a text appears on an image, we can click the T icon and the actions will be recommended according to the text. For web address, it shows open. For words, it shows define and for edge symbols, it shows the map option. Now let's go to settings and click the notification option. Here we have the app notifications where we can select any apps to turn it on or off. Next we have lock screen notification where we can hide content and select the notification which we need to show. When we use an app for the first time, it asks us to whether we want to receive notifications or not. The new reorganized notification settings allows you to block any apps sending too much notification. We can also go directly to the app notification settings from the button at the bottom of the notification panel. Now to show you the next feature, let's open the app info of Telegram. So inside that, in the app notifications, we can allow the sound and vibration or even make it silent. We also have another options where we can separately control the notification of each apps by turning on or off notifications on lock screen, app icon badge and the show pop-up notification option. We can also see notification category option where we can customize the notification even more. The settings menu is reorganized so that we can find the sound and vibration option easier and also we can set ringtone and change the volume and vibration in the same place. Now inside the general management option, we have the language option and just below that we have the app language option where we can set a language for each app. After the new update, the device can run smoother by automatically performing optimizations in the background and keep your phone in the best condition. When you click on the memory option, we can find the RAM plus option and the RAM plus can now be turned off completely if you do not want it to use your storage space. Next we have digital well-being option which now have a new design for clear and easy access. Next we have security and privacy feature where the new security dashboard shows if there is any problems and helps to fix it. There's a new security feature where the share panel will let us know if we share the photo that have a sensitive information like ID card, credit card etc. Now let's open the Samsung internet browser. Here when you search anything, an app icon will appear in the Samsung internet's address bar to show the site's security status. And when you tap on it, it helps us to learn which information it tracks and collects. Here I have opened a random antivirus website. And when you click on that icon, it shows the security of the connection, the cookies in use, and also the ads that are blocked. Next we have the accessibility settings. And inside that we have the talkback option. We can choose from various types of voice feedback to help us when we cannot see the screen clearly. And for that to work, we need to first open the Spoken Assistant option and click on Speak Keyboard Input Allowed and we need to turn it on. There are more options like Character, Words, Character and Words option. And this is used to read out the keyboard input to see if you type the words correctly. And we also have an option to turn on the Bixby Vision to recognize the scene, to identify the object, to read out the text and to detect the color. Now, when you open the clock app and select the timer option, first let's select a timer and start it. And after that, at the top we have a plus option, which is used to start a new timer in the clock app 
even if one timer is still running and we can add even more timers next we have the google calendar here we can add any custom stickers that we want to the calendar and we can even remove that to remove the sticker click on the sticker once again and click this icon on the top now click the sticker from the list and below we have a minus option to remove the sticker we also have an option to show or hide a completed reminder in any category and we can also choose symbol or expanded view to show your all reminders at once or by including more detail like due date etc there is also another option to point out in the samsung browser that is the bookmarks can be organized by dragging and dropping between folders inside the my files app instead of searching for all the files we have new two options in the search bar and they are search contents by folder only and search inside files these two options can be enabled or disabled and we can also search anything and after the search we can sort by name date size file type or even by ascending or descending order another new feature is that when you open the edge panel you can find that all the apps have no app names below them so let's click on the edit button and click on the menu and you can find two options touch and hold tap and also below that we have show recent apps and the new option to show the app names so when you enable that you can find that all the apps are having the app names now finally let me show you the new easter egg for android 13 for that open the settings app and click the about phone option and inside the software information you can see that currently it is now in one ui 5.0 and after that click on the android version 13 many times and you can find this clock you all know that when you turn the handles to 12 o'clock in android 12 it will show something but since it's android 13 set it to 1 o'clock that is in railway time 13 so that we can find this animation just tap and hold then you can find that it will change to different emojis so that's all about the changes that's happened in android 13 and also in one ui 5.0 so thank you for watching the video guys if you like the video hit the like button if you have any doubts comment in the comment section below and don't forget to share this video with your friends if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel hit the subscribe button and the bell button to get the latest updates